Hi, my name is Susmita, Brand Communication Specialist at ACC, and joining us today is our special guest, Maureen, the Senior Partnerships Manager at ACC USA with over seven years of experience in international student recruitment. Maureen is an absolute pro and will provide us insights and answer all your burning questions about studying in the USA. Welcome, Maureen. It's so nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right. So please uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us your journey, your journey with ACC, and what have you envisioned? Sure. Yeah. So my name is Maureen. Um, I'm based in Massachusetts, about an hour from the city of Boston, if you're familiar with Boston. And as Susmita mentioned, I've been working in international education in the field for over seven years now. I started out my journey working with U.S. institutions. I've worked for two universities within the U.S. And then I moved over uh, to this side of the business. And it's been really amazing working for ACC over the past, oh, it's almost been a year now for me here. Um, a lot of exciting things are happening with ACC. And I'm excited to tell you more about studying in the U.S. Amazing. So let's start things off. So there are multiple reasons why international students should choose USA. But can you tell me just top three reasons why international students should uh, consider studying in the USA? And what are some of the key advantages and opportunities they can find there? Sure. Yeah, I think the U.S. is a really unique study destination. Some of the top reasons students are attracted to come to the U.S. are the quality of education, the quality of the degree programs here. There's really strong academics um, no matter where you go. We have almost 4,000 universities in the U.S., so there's a huge selection to choose from. And I think the other key advantage to the U.S. is really the the other opportunities you have as a student. So kind of that quintessential or classic American college experience. There's so many ways to get involved. And then the job opportunities after students graduate as well. Um, there's so many industries here and a lot of job opportunities, no matter what city or state you're looking at in the U.S. I agree. Yeah. So uh, many international students um, face unique challenges when adapting to a new education system and culture. Could you tell us about the resources and support systems available to help these international students overcome these obstacles and succeed in their studies? Sure, yeah. So I think most universities um, are kind of similar in the way that they all have some sort of international office or international student and scholar office on campus that's there that's dedicated to working with international students and helping them in their journey to to study in the u.s but also just be um, a successful person while you're studying here and have all the resources that they need these offices help with everything from um, preparing for a student visa and working with our teams here at AACC to helping you along the way, to helping you with internships and job opportunities while you're here. And then also just like day-to-day -day emotional and personal support. If you're having issues while you're here, they'll really help you acclimate to life. Um, and they also put on a lot of fun activities and events throughout the years for students too. So you're really able to adjust to working with these offices um, amongst the other ones at U.S. institutions, but they're always there for you as a good resource. That's really great because I think most of the students actually need to understand when they go to this new country would i be safe and do i have that support and yeah. it's amazing to hear that you know there is this kind of support so students feel at ease absolutely all right so uh, my next question is about scholarships um, financing education is often a concern for international students are there any scholarships or financial aid options available for these students while they are pursuing their education in the united states yeah, I think that's a great question. I think financing your education and higher education in general can be kind of intimidating at first to students just because it could be such a financial burden, but it doesn't have to be as long as you have some research and planning in advance for scholarship opportunities. Um, institutions in the U.S. are usually a gold mine for scholarship opportunities internally, um, and oftentimes there's actually no separate application to apply for scholarship opportunities within the U.S. Um, a lot of times they're merit-based, which means it's based on your academic background or your work experience. So while an institution is reviewing you for admission, they'll also consider you for scholarship opportunities as well. 
Um, other than that, sometimes we also see need-based aid coming up more and more for international students. So this is more based on um, your ability to pay um, and funding opportunities there. So definitely do your research internally um, or work with an AACC counselor and they'll be able to hide, uh, help you with those internal opportunities. And then there's also external funding opportunities as well for students. So websites um, externally that you can look at to have a, a separate application to apply for scholarship opportunities um, through different organizations or potentially your parent or family members organization might have scholarships or grants to help you fund your studies as well. That's nice. So this opens up a lot of doors for students to actually go and study in the United States because it's usually considered as the most expensive country. Yes. Yes. There. And that's why lots of students maybe not choose United States because they think, oh, it's so expensive. But then it's so good to hear that there are a lot of scholarship opportunities available. Yeah, and I think a lot of the time too, the the tuition you might see advertised is is really never the tuition you'll end up paying, just because there's so many funding and scholarship opportunities available. So keeping that in mind is is key as well. Yeah. Uh, coming to my next question, uh, cultural exchange and engagement play a crucial role in international student experience. So, how do universities in the United States promote? cross-cultural interaction and foster connections between international and domestic students. So uh, can you tell us something more about that? Yeah, definitely. So I think when I was working at universities in the past, I saw a lot of this and even me being a student studying the U.S. as a domestic student, interacting with international students. This was huge um, and something that's really important to universities here in the U.S. Um, so firstly, I mentioned those international offices and they put on events and things like that to get students involved. But also I think something to consider, too, is kind of that classic American college experience I mentioned. There's so many ways to get involved on campus and that helps domestic and international students really engage and interact with each other. Um, oftentimes there's over a hundred different student clubs and organizations ranging from academic interests to more like personal interests, arts, theater, cooking, really whatever interest you have. And then also things like intramural sports and athletics. Um, so there's so many opportunities to get involved and have more of that enriching college experience that's not just about your academics and your degree program, but getting involved and really getting the most out of your education here in the U.S. while you're studying abroad. So as soon as you enter college, you will uh, be entering these clubs or there is a, like, you know, there is a system to get into it. You need to go to your uh, success coach and they will help you out or there are just like clubs present and students can just enroll in that. You can join really at any time throughout the year, but typically we see once orientation happens and students arrive um, in the fall, for example, there'll be some sort of student club and organization type of fair or expo on campus. So you can learn about all the different clubs and organizations that are on campus. Usually they'll all have a different sort of booth so you can go and learn more and see if there might be one that fits your interest. And if there's not, there's always opportunities to start your own clubs and organizations when you're a student in the US too. So there's a lot of flexibility there to get involved and kind of make it your own experience, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, okay. So uh, there are many aspiring international students um, and studying in the United States is a dream come true for everybody. So what advice would you give to those who are considering to pursue their education in the U.S.? And how can they choose the right university and maximize their study abroad experience? Yeah, it's tough because the U.S. is so huge. It's a really large country. And like I mentioned, too, there's almost 4,000 universities here. So how do you know really what the best fit institution is for you? Um, and I would say keep your options open. That's my number one advice I have, especially when you're starting your research process and considering studying in the U.S. So there's a lot of cities and states you might want to consider, but there's also more of that rural or suburban college experience, too. Um, so so there's so many different types of institutions from specialty institutions to colleges to community colleges to universities um, and then also location based too so i would definitely recommend working with an aecc counselor to help them guide you um, on different options that might be the best fit for you um, but keep your options open don't rule out an institution just because it might not be in your number one city that you think sometimes there might be other pros and cons like scholarship offerings that might be yeah. better funding for you cost of living might be better in a certain area and also job opportunities and internship opportunities after you graduate too yeah 
Yeah, I actually agree because I have some of my friends who are considering to go to US and they were so confused because it's so huge. They just yeah. don't know to go to the east or the west or should they be in the center? Where should they yeah, start? There's so many regions to choose from and so many different locations. And there's pretty much a college or university anywhere that you could think of or hope for. Um, so definitely do your research and kind of consider what you really want to get out of your college experience because you can really have whatever you want in the US. Can you share sure. about how... ACC USA assists international students in finding the right university and basically the whole journey. How does our counselors help uh, our students? Yeah, so ACC in the US, um, we are a small but mighty team um, and we work really closely with ACC counselors all over the world to help students find the best fit institutions for them. Um, so we're always here at every step of the way. Students can essentially work with an ACC counselor from the earliest step possible when they're researching and trying to learn about the US as a destination. Um, all the way through to arriving on campus. Um, and we're here in the US too for any additional support students might need um, with questions. And, and we're kind of based around in different states too. Um, so every step of the way from, from learning to application to, to prepping every, all their materials pre-arrival and arriving. The other thing you can consider is checking out our course search, AACC course search. Um, this is a really good tool to learn about different institutions in the U.S., um, a bit of bio about them, a bit about the location, and really the key essential information that you'll need to know um, if you're considering adding them to your shortlist with AACC. And then from there, our counselors can help you um, narrow down that shortlist and really identify what the best fit or right fit institution is for you. Thank you. All right, so wrapping up, I want to know your personal advice uh, for students coming to the USA. Something on your personal note, if you were like, you know, having said that note to yourself that, you know, hey, be careful about this or this is what's going to yeah. happen, uh, what would it be? What would be the note you would want to say? My number one advice for international students who are coming to study in the U.S. is definitely to get involved. And by that, I mean, of course, with your academics, um, get involved with your professors and networking is so essential here um, to finding internships and jobs that are really going to be amazing once you graduate, but also with clubs and organizations and that other aspect of your college education and making the most of it, making friends, making connections and networking in a different way. Um, and take advantage of things like CPT, which is curricular practical training, work during the time you're a student, and OPT, optional practical training, which is work after um, you graduate. Um, so essentially uh, the equivalent to a work visa here in the U.S. All of these opportunities are, are included in your U.S. student visa, uh, but they'll really help you make the most of your education um, in the U.S. And, and get the most out of it when you're looking at career opportunities down the line. So I had one more question about the sure. career opportunities. So most of the students uh, usually take up a loan and then come to the U.S. to finance their education. So how easy is it uh, to get an opportunity there to work? Um, the, does the university assist them in getting a job? And how is the process with the placement? Yeah, so most institutions, and especially some of the institutions that I've worked for and a lot of our partner institutions here at AACC, have dedicated career services offices, either that service the institution as a whole and all students, or oftentimes we see them actually embedded within the different departments or faculty in the institution. So a business school, for example, will have dedicated career services to help students find internship and job opportunities that make the most sense for them. We also see things like connections with the professors and all those networking opportunities leading to internships and jobs as well for students. So there's a lot of opportunities, um, especially in some of the, the bigger cities um, in the U.S., but also some of the smaller cities as well. There's more and more job opportunities for students. And that's one of the real benefits of studying in the U.S. too, is just the availability of jobs and internships for international students. So all this was related to after you finish your studies. Is there some other available part-time opportunities that the universities help the students with, such as in-campus in uh, part-time yeah. opportunities? 
For sure. Yeah, that's also a huge component of it. So obviously there's getting involved in more more fun or engaging activities and clubs and things. But then there's also opportunities for you to work on campus. That could be like an administrative job, maybe working in a dining hall or a cafe. But there's also assistantship opportunities. These could be research assistantships, teaching assistantships or potentially graduate assistantships. Um, so helping in different offices around campus or helping in the classroom with students um, teaching or research related, which are paid opportunities for you to work while you're a student here in the U.S. Um, and also get involved in a different way on campus and make some extra money. So thank you so much, Maureen. That brings us to the end of today's conversation. Thank you for sharing your insights and expertise on studying in the United States. It's been a pleasure having you. It's been amazing. Thanks so much, Smita. Thank you so much.